Hey, good morning, guys. It's an early Saturday morning here, and it's, of course, it's your boy Jamel. You know, I've been thinking and kind of feeling nostalgic a little bit. Do you guys remember the old Saturday morning cartoons? If you grew up in the 80s, the 90s, early 2000s, you got to remember them. Of course, there was the big three, Kids WB, Fox Kids, and ABC Kids slash Disney one Saturday morning. Yeah, it was it was a fun time, you know. We got through the week of school, got through all the crap that your teachers had you go through, you know, learning your times tables and everything. And then Saturday morning, that was your reward. You got to get up early before your mommy and your daddy was up. Got to sit downstairs, get you a bowl of cereal. I prefer, you know, cinnamon toast crunch. Now that I'm a little older, I prefer the honey nut Cheerios. And you got to enjoy the Saturday. Blocks usually ran between four or five hours, usually starting at either seven or eight. And it was just a lot of fun getting up, going through them cartoons, and then when it was around the holidays, you know, the Christmas commercials, and you'd see all the brand new toys for all the different cartoons. And so I got to thinking about something. What is the ideal Saturday morning lineup for TV? You know, I started thinking i looked over all the old programming blocks and i was just like you know what i think i got it i've created a fantasy saturday morning lineup and so when i was making this i had a few rules in mind that i wanted to restrict myself to and i actually invite you guys to create your own list you know come up go down memory lane pick out your favorite shows but i do ask that you kind of follow the this little guideline one you only pick shows from the three blocks. So Kids WB, Fox Kids, ABC, Kids, Disney, One well, Saturday Morning. If you're older, you can go back to when CBS used to do their Saturday morning lineup and when NBC used to do their Saturday morning lineup. But nothing from a cable or a streaming service. So no Netflix, no Cartoon Network, no Nickelodeon, no uh, Amazon, no Hulu, none of that. It has to be from those three old blocks because... As we've, you know, progressed through time, we got the 24-hour news cycle, 24-hour sports cycle, and of course, when cable rose, we got the 24-hour cartoon cycles and kids' TV cycles with Cartoon Network and Netflix and Nickelodeon and Disney Channel and Disney XD and all of that. And so I want to kind of restrict it to those old blocks, the old nostalgic great cartoon blocks. And I also ask that you guys kind of share this out using the hashtag FantasySatAM. You know, spread this the word out. Send it to your favorite YouTubers. Send it to your favorite bloggers. You know, hey, hit up Andre Meadows if you want to. Send it to him. I'm sure you have a lot of fun with it. I'm sure, you know, the boys at Cultaholic, they might have some fun with it. Just tweet it out. Send it out. And let's, you know, let's bring back some good, fun memories. So I also want you guys to kind of think about it. Or you don't have to do what I did. But how I thought of the lineup is I thought thought like an executive or I thought like how will I want to structure the Saturday morning lineup how would I kick things off how would I have it progress throughout the day and then how would I close things out so what I did was I used five out the five hour block so from 7 a.m. to noon so from 7 to noon that's five hours 10 shows and so here it is. Here is my fantasy Saturday morning lineup. So at 7, the leadoff show, Animaniacs. Anybody who watched Animaniacs, that is a bona fide certified classic. It is something that will get the, you know, gets the, the juices flowing, gets you excited for the rest of the lineup for the rest of the day. Brilliant writing. It was fun for both kids and adults. So if you got one of those parents who's up early with you, they would love to watch Animaniacs with you. So Animaniacs, that, to me, that is the ideal leadoff show. Pinky and the Brain was another one that I thought about. Tiny Toons was another one. But I think Animaniacs, it kicks it off the right way. It has a catchy theme song. It's energetic. Really fun for both the kids and adults. Following up, you got to have a strong show. So what I also did was kind of had my stronger shows act as the tent poles at the tops of each hour. So at 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, at the tops of those hours, I have what I feel are my strongest shows. So, And we have some good follow-ups from those hours. So at 7.30, we have recess. 
Recess, another classic. It is, you know, again, another one of those smartest or smart kid shows with good writing, good morals, good messages. And I think it's a good follow up to Animaniacs. It brings things down just a tad, but it still keeps that whole good writing, good for the kids, good for adults feeling going for that strong seven o'clock hour. Now, pick up the action a little bit at the eight o'clock hour. I have Power Rangers. Now, What we kind of forgot or what we didn't know at the time when we were little kids is that most of the time cartoons and the mother kids shows, they were kind of just vehicles for companies to sell us toys. So Power Rangers, it is it is what it is. It's a good show. All the seasons from Mighty Morphin all the way to now with Beast Morphers, you can have anyone. It will kill that lineup. It'll sell that merchandise, those toys, those comic books, the pajamas, everything. And it is a really fun show. A lot of diversity within the cast. You know, that's one thing that you always got to get Power Rangers credit for. Nice, diverse cast. You know, you usually have people from different backgrounds, people they interact with. And it does send a good message throughout, you know. It's harmless. It's cheesy, but it's harmless, and I think it is a good show to pick up the action with beginning at 8. Following that up is another show that I feel is it's a little underrated or a little, you know, not didn't get as much love as it probably should have in its day, Jackie Chan Adventures. Who doesn't like Jackie Chan? Simple question. Who doesn't like Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan Adventures, really good show. Um... Again, more action that is in the cartoon. Nice message with Jackie. He always tried to teach his niece, Jade, the right way to do things. And I do think that it is a good show to kind of follow up Power Rangers. It's strong enough to stand on its own, and it's a good follow-up to Power Rangers. Now, from 9 to 11, I have what's called the comic block. Another staple of Saturday morning cartoons was having shows that were based on comic books or superhero properties. So the next four shows that I have on here are all based on those properties. And what better way to kick off the comic block than with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Staple of Saturday morning cartoons from the 80s throughout the 90s, 2000s, even to today. The Ninja Turtles are a prime staple of Saturday morning cartoon lineups. It is something that, again, Sells the cartoon, sells the merch, sells the toys, video games, all of that. Very fun show. And that theme song, that opening theme, uh, especially uh, the 80s and the 2012, that eh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When that hits, kids go crazy. It is the perfect show to kick off the comic block. Another show that I think it didn't get as much love in its time, but I think as we progressed, it's you know getting more and more love. Static Shock. Based on the Fantastic Milestone and then eventually DC Comic Static, it is one of the most underrated superhero shows of all time. Roger Hawkins, a.k.a. Static, fantastic superhero in my opinion, probably the best embodiment of what it's like to be a teenager in comics, no disrespect to Spider-Man, but I think that Static is such a good character, he's fun, he's likable, and the cartoon has a very good theme song that gets you in the mood for the show, lots of potential for toys, lots of potential for games, and of course that brings in a lot, uh, a bigger audience, and so that's kind of what drew me to the character is that, hey, Not that many black superheroes that were being shown. I love Static for that reason. And Static Shock, it's a really good cartoon. So, top of the 10 o'clock hour, greatest superhero cartoon of all time, Batman the Animated Series. Don't need to go into too much detail. I mean, it's Batman the Animated Series. It's a staple. It was a staple of Fox Kids and eventually became a staple of Kids WB. So, not going to spend too much time on that. Spectacular Spider-Man is going to follow... Batman the Animated Series. It's a fantastic show. Um, Probably the best Spider-Man cartoon ever. Has a dope theme song. It has really good animation. Unfortunately, because the whole Disney owning all of Marvel stuff, that kind of scampered and put a damper on that cartoon. But check it out, and I have to have it on my lineup. I was going to put an X-Men cartoon, but... Now that I've got Disney Plus and I've been rewatching the old X-Men um, animated series from the 90s, it's still good, but it's not as strong as I thought it was once upon a time. X-Men Evolution, that's another good one that could fit in, but it, it gets a little iffy. And Wolverine and X-Men, I would have put on here, but it would have violated my rules because it was on Nicktoon. So, closing out the block, we have Pokemon. Biggest 
selling franchise that's going on right now. Got to have Pokemon on the block. So simple. Pokemon, great cartoon, video games, toys, sells the merch. Got to have Pokemon. Finally, closing it out is one that I don't hear enough praise about, and it's The Weekenders. It's another Disney show, another nice diverse cast, dope theme song, sung by Wayne Brady, which is surprising. And I think if you have the opportunity, definitely go watch it. Hit up Disney and demand that they put that on Disney+. Plus. It's a fantastic cartoon. So to recap my hashtag fantasy sat AM, it is Animaniacs, Recess, Power Rangers, Jackie Chan Adventures, TMNT, Static Shock, Batman the Animated Series, Spectacular Spider-Man, Power Rangers, said Power Rangers twice, Pokemon, and The Weekenders. So go ahead and head out and make sure you tell me in the comments below. Tell me about your fantasy Saturday morning lineup. You know, use, again, use the shows from Kids WB, Fox Kids, and uh, One Saturday Morning, Disney One Saturday Morning. And, you know, make sure you tweet that out. Make sure you get it out to, to everyone. Let's bring back some good, fun memories. So uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the video. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Jamel727 and on Instagram at Jamel727. And as always, you have a safe and wonderful day. And uh, be safe and be cool. Peace, guys. Finger guns.